Hi, I haven't made um, a video diary for a couple of days so I thought I'd best do one today. I wasn't going to bother because I feel really strange, um, not strange, tired tonight. Um, so I wasn't going to bother and then I thought well you know these are the days that I need to be videoing as well not just um, the days where I'm feeling okay and you know making it through. Although I know I'm a god dramatic Annie, you know, but obviously I've made it through. Um, but I'm just really, really tired t today. Um, I can't even say it was it's because of work or anything like that. I didn't have um, a hectic day. No, I had I did have a busy day. Um, it was mostly admin today rather than working with groups of children or individual children. Um, but it was nice, it was a nice start to this morning because I, um, you know, did get to work with some of the children and that, you know, that's you know, a brilliant part of the day. Um, the rest of it was admin. Um, we break up this week, it's my last day today because I work part time. And um, I'd promised one of the mums that I would make something that will hopefully um, help um, her summer with her uh, son who's got Asperger's. Um, something that would maybe ease the summer a little bit because um, he doesn't enjoy going out. And so that can cause a bit of a struggle at home. And... Um, so she was really pleased and but it, it almost killed me to get it done on time and um, managed to just get everything ready and in an envelope um, and grab her in the playground and, and bring her in and um, go through it with her so she was really pleased so that was um that was a good part of the day um but in you know in between all that it's I um have struggles. I think that's why it took me so long to do what I said I'd do for her because it was it took every ounce of energy and concentration to get it done. And you know what it's like working anywhere. There's constant um, interruptions. Um, but I just feel so tired today. I just feel so tired and um, Weepy and shaky and sick and um, I just feel like I just want to but I mean you know it, it's it's five past nine there's nothing stopping me going to bed apart from <laughs> doing this um but I've got to say I mean it killed me getting through just the time that the baby was up early because I wanted to play with him and I wanted to be like a normal good mum and um, so I did make myself roll around with him try to con him into a little bit of a cuddle on the couch a few times but he wasn't having any of it which is really funny as well because um, he's amazing he's the most amazing thing or person in my entire life he's just wonderful to be around He's just such a an active, bright, um, oh, amazing bundle of fabulousness. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, and he's always too busy to give you a kiss or a cuddle. And um, if you try and catch him, he'll go, oh no, oh he'll go, no, no, no. And um, today he must have sensed something with me today because he kept coming over and giving me a kiss. And or grabbing me um, by the leg or just really looking at me and then giving me a kiss um, which I was just soaking it all up um, but that makes me feel bad because I'm thinking I wonder if he wanted to just do it because that's how he felt today or if he sensed that mummy was really tired and if that's the case I don't want that I don't, I don't want to bring my child up around that I think you know remembering thinking back when he's like older thinking oh God, you know, mum was always ill or she was always tired or always had a headache or, you know, I, I just don't want that. So, you know, the sooner I get better and I'm playing with him, cause I thought I was playing really well. We were having a, a right laugh and um, 
you know, and he was giggling and, and laughing too, to the point that my husband came in to see what was going on, because he, he, he practically, he trashed the couch and that was everywhere. And, um, no, it, it, it's just amazing, but obviously it wasn't going as well as I actually thought it was going. And then put him to bed and, uh, oh gosh, during the change, my husband had put him in his cot for a second, took him off to the, off the potty, he hadn't done anything, put him in the cot for a second while he went to get something and he piddled all in his cot. And, um, oh God, I just thought, no, oh my goodness. And it was just such a blooming effort to go and get everything, you know, get the um, bedding and everything and me to his bed. And I just thought, oh, I was almost tempted to get in myself. Um, but really, I think after I make this video diary um, entry for today, I uh, really think I should have an early night tonight, I think. Um, I just, just don't want to feel like this now. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm feeling this bad today because it's hormonal. Maybe I'm like, it's like, I should know really, shouldn't I? Time of the month, I think it is. It is. I'm saying I think because it, it, I do tend to be a little bit irregular. Um, so I've never been able to um, tell when it's going to be exactly. So I've got friends who can tell you exactly what time in the day it would be. I think that's like crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe this is what it is. But um, earlier today, I felt, do you know when you're just so tired and you just think, oh no. And I could, you, you could just literally just, you know those cartoons where the pet, the thing just like melts and it just goes like that. And I felt like I could just melt off the chair onto the floor and um, <laughs> just go to sleep. And, um, uh, you know, and that, that's just not, it's not right, is it? It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to spend your whole day thinking about, you know, when you can go to sleep. Um, oh, do you know what? I've lost the train of thought. So I was going to say something else, but I just can't remember. Um, no, it's gone. Never mind. Um, too tired to worry about it. But I just thought I wanted to document this today. Um... Oh, I know, no, no, that's what I was going to say. So I was so tired. And then sometimes when I get overtired, I find it a bit um, tricky. Not to breathe, but to... Um, do you know, it's almost like my breaths are... Is it shallow? Do you say shallow? It, it just... I'm very aware of, like... Almost like as if there's not enough um, air or something. I don't know, no, because I'm not, like, gasping for breath. It just feels... Maybe more laboured, a little bit more laboured, not overly, just a little bit. And my heart felt quite um, poundy as well, which I, I do get like if I'm, I'm overtired. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like extra old and achy today. Um, so, that's it really. Oh, I was going to say another thing. Um, I'm back on my iron tablets. Um not feeling any different yet but I suppose it's going to take you know a while but one thing I'm wondering is my nails feel harder than I mean they're usually they could even bend that way forward they're, they're like normally really bendy I mean and they split and they you know like peel and things like that and they don't tend to grow more than a few millimeters um but they seem really quite like hard quite hard to the point of you know if i um knock them on something it'll um crack and flick off so they they'll break quite easily they're still splitting though as well um so i'm just wondering if they're getting harder because of maybe the iron tablets or the multivitamin or whatever i'm not really sure um probably the iron tablets i suppose because by the time the nails grown maybe i don't have do you know, i don't know how long it takes for a nail to grow from there to there i must have a look um, so I'm just wondering when if I started taking the iron tablets there if now it's reached the end and that's why they feel does that make sense I just talk in gibberish I'm just wondering if that's why they feel hard is basically what I'm trying to say um, that's it really I'm just going to keep it short um, I just 
wanted to document that I'm feeling rubbish today. Poor me. <laughs> okay, night night.